Today I am going to talk about social media and today's uh, video is about Facebook. Why am I friends with these people? I wonder as I scroll through the tons of pathetic statuses about screwing relationships, shared images of funny cats and the odd picture of a girl sat on the loo. Sober or not. I can't help but question the sanity of these people, though just one meeting with me will leave you questioning if I was for real. Scrolling further, I see countless grammar and spelling mistakes that I almost have to physically hold myself back from headbutting my keyboard in frustration. I'm still waiting for Facebook to invent um, a virtual facepalm button uh, for moments when words just cannot describe your disappointment in the human race. I wouldn't tell someone what I ate for dinner or poke someone in real life. Why would I do that online? Facebook is filled with people who think posting this rubbish all over their page is acceptable and interesting. No. But here's the real issue. Why are we friends with so many people on social networking sites who, let's be honest, we have no real connection with? Surely we don't see them every day, let alone talk to them ever on Facebook. So why do we insist on keeping them on our lists? There are several different possibilities here. One is that you met them once, thought they were hot, and wanted to keep the option open. Plenty of people do this, but never have a real conversation again after the basic Hi, we met the other day spiel, and your attempts at inviting them to events that you're going to never work. Why do they still exist on our Facebook? Friendship. Reason two. We see them more than we see our social group, i.e. we work with them or have a glass with them. You don't particularly like them, but if you missed some class notes or want to swap shifts, they're always there to ask. Plus, seeing them so much and working in close proximity with one another, they're likely to get passive aggressive if you delete them. And then here's the last main reason. You knew them years ago, or knew each other for a while, when one of you moved on to something else, whether it be a new job or moved house. You rarely talk, but you might plan on going up to their area for a weekend or a work conference. They are your contact for a free sofa to sleep on. But for someone who really couldn't care less about burning these bridges, why am I connected to them on a social networking service? Probably to join the rest of the world in pretending that I'm popular and have uh, literally thousands of friends. If one more person sends me a Farmville invitation or complains about their tragic life on my feed, I swear to God, you'll be deleted without hesitation. Whether you're an IRL friend or not, and I suggest others do the same. 